Hey guys, welcome back. We've got episode two of the $20 binder challenge. Uh, this episode is a little bit of a twist. Uh, the other PokeTuber that we are facing off against actually sent us their cards that they picked for the binder challenge. And we have to take the names of those Pokemon to decode a word that they created for this challenge for us. Um, I have a feeling I know what it's going to be, but uh, you have to wait to the end to find out for sure. Surprise, surprise, surprise! For me, and what I did this time, um, I did a little bit of mixture of things. I found as many cards as I could for the $20 that I thought were kind of neat, but I also did a play on the last time as well, where I found some cards that remind me of the PokeTubers. And then also uh, found a card that represented the PokeTuber that we're going against. So stay tuned, let me know uh, in the comments which cards you guys like the best. All right, so starting off, I got a stack of cards that I just thought for the price point that I got them for were just good cards uh, that you could put in the binder that, uh, whether it be neat artwork or shiny or whatever it may be, I just thought were perfect pickups for a $20 binder challenge. So I got the um, Zorak, Zoraork V-Star. Got the Bolton V, which I just thought was a perfect shiny card to add in to a binder. The Urshifu V Max, nothing wrong with a little gold. I love gold! <laughs> then this one I just thought was a good little play uh, Zapdos, uh, solid little card here. I'm not sure what set it was from, but Zapdos was always uh, one of my favorite ones growing up of the birds. And then I just absolutely loved the hollow on this card, this Alolan Sandlash. Uh, first time I'd ever actually seen this card was when I was going through um, the boxes of cards at the shop. And then probably my favorite one um, is this little Growlithe. Just some neat hollow on this card. Um, can't ever go wrong with that. Now this pile of cards that I've got here are also um, to go along with this stack for the $20. I've got a, honestly a good decent little pile of cards for $20. Um, you know, multiple ways you can attack that. If you would have seen Shiny Vert's uh, challenge with Chris Pye, you know, one got cards, I think one got packs if I remember right. Um, but a lot of options, you know, $20 doesn't sound like it'd go a long way, but I got quite a few cards here. This one I'm going to save to the end because that represents the PokeTuber that we're going against. Um, this card right here, uh, actually, Ryder asked me to put that in there representing us and our channel. So I have this uh, Pikachu V. And then this one I actually picked up double for brr, brr, the Pidgey Boys. Um, fun little channel that we enjoy watching. Some great hits that we've got to see on some of their shorts and their videos. And this Tyranitar. Uh, picked this one up in representation of Ichiban Don. Um, he does some great collaborations, had some great videos with Zach the Pokey Collector, along with uh, he is currently in a uh, battle series with Gonzo. And this one um, kind of speaks for herself. If you've had the chance to watch her channel would be Ghastly Grabs, uh, an awesome, awesome little channel that she has. She does some pack ripping, um, some bounties, and started doing some um, long length videos as well, uh, including her daughter in those. This Lucario V Star we actually got as a representation for Pokemon Wonder. Uh, Ryder was actually gifted this same exact card by Pokemon Wonder uh, just about a month or two ago. Here we got the Dragonite V-Star. Um, on this one, we're paying homage once again to Zach the Pokey Collector, who was our first uh, Binder Challenge collaboration. And then Misty's Wrath. Got this one as a representation for half of the Pokey Bear. Um, kind of the wrath that John has to go under whenever Misty is kicking his butt in their uh, pack battle challenges. Then we got Scyther, 
good little uh, throwback to a vintage card that we got uh, representing Opossum Bod. If you haven't had the chance to check out Opossum Bud's videos, uh, does a lot of, I guess, what people would say drama videos, but he's also very informative in his videos, especially for somebody like Ryder and I, uh, mainly me, uh, starting out into the hobby, you know, kind of gives the where to or what to stay away from information as well that I really appreciate, especially when I'm trying to make sure I'm guiding Ryder in some of his um, choices, for purchases for cards, things like that. And then we've got the Paris, which if you guys don't know is Vault's favorite, favorite card. He loves the Paris cards. And then we finish it off with this awesome little card, the Gengar VMAX, which is representation of Poké Hefe. Um, if you haven't had the chance to check out uh, Poké Hefe's um, channel yet, please make sure you go over there and subscribe to his channel. He's got some great content. Uh, he's done some amazing stuff for the community already. You know, he gave us um, a Ruler of the Flame booster box as a gift for us, along with some giveaways for my birthday stream that we did. And he also did an awesome giveaway collaboration with the Pokey Pair. So if you have not had the chance to check out his channel yet, please make sure you go over there and give him a uh, um, a subscription. Subscribe. So as you can see, we got quite a few hits for our $20. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18 cards for 20 bucks. Um, so really, you can go a long way. I was really happy with the pulls that we hit. Um, so now let's see if we can open up the cards that Poke Jefe sent us for his part of the challenge. All right, so here we got the package from Poke Jefe along with the uh, twist that he did on his binder challenge. So again, he had $20 and he did his um, a little bit differently. So he sent us the cards and first I must correctly identify each Pokemon on the card. Using the first initials of each Pokemon, I must decode a two word phrase using the first initials from each one of those cards. So for example, it was E-J-F-E, -E, it could spell out Hefe. So. Let's get into the cards and see uh, see what phrase he's wanting us to utter. Uh, for those that don't know, him and I have a little rivalry, state-to-state uh, -state rivalry going on. So we'll see. I have a feeling I know what it's going to be, but hopefully I'm wrong. So it looks like we've got the Gollum EX. Gorgeous card. So we've got a G. We got the Blastoise EX. Another gorgeous card here. So we've got a G and a B. And we've got the Espeon. Neat card. I've never seen that one before. I always mess up the name. Omanti. Um, oh. I'm trying to remember the name of this one. I had it. And then Omanite. All right, so we've got an O. And then I believe this is unknown. Correct me if I'm wrong, but I think this is unknown. And then we've got Lieutenant Surge. So it looks like we've got, I knew he was going to do that. We've got G, O, B, L, U, E. So we've got to go, bleh, go, bleh, sorry, I can't say it, half a, O, H. V, Ohio State University. So as you can see, we both did it a little bit differently. This is the stack of cards that I got. He did his twist with a little bit more purpose for his $20. So, you know, kind of like Gonzo always says, collect how you want to collect. But you have many options when you're going through this. Um, so what Ryder and I have decided to do is for all the binder challenge videos that we do against other fellow PokeTubers, 
we are going to keep all these cards in the binder to give away at Card Party 2. So if any of you PokeTubers would like to collaborate and do challenge number three, hit us up on Instagram and let us know and we can uh, get that going. Don't forget, comment down below what your favorite card was um, out of the set and who you think won the $20 challenge. Was it Pokey Hefe with his Go <laughs> challenge? Or uh, was it me with the combination of just cards to get for the binder and ones that represent different PokeTubers that we like?